Hey guys, I have Iron here with finally the review for the Gundam Command Quanta after a couple days, at least after the last time I made the quick review for it. Last time we were talking about this guy, how he was very nice in design, actually probably one of my favorite and probably one of the better out of all the Gundam Breaker kids. I think this is probably still the, the best out of all of them, in my opinion. Depending on if you built all the other ones and you feel like some of the other ones are a little bit better, but yeah. But for me personally, the Command Quanta is probably probably my favorite especially in the aspect when it comes to like mobile suits that try to be tactical about it like try to go the whole military route color wise uh weaponry and everything and all that and it just fits well with that design for philosophy design wise it's weaponry shields it's missile cannons sword all coming all coming from backpack as well the armor chest piece all of it coming from the parts from the command that i hope one day the command, the SD command Gundam becomes a actual full realized what's a cold HG kit, along with Night Gundam. But those are hopeful futures. Bad, well, maybe maybe Gundam Breaker Four will bring us that, but that's hope. But was out of the way. Let's go with the everything the command Quanta comes with. So here's everything the Gundam command Quanta comes with: its GN sword, its GN that uh, once new. Uh, and beam rifle its shields missile pods and the mobile suit itself which is pretty nice design all things considered all that loving all the detail work all the uh indentations and all that that's going to be detail work whenever i do paint this as i am going to paint this guy later in my custom colors it's a good thing about two of these so one of these can be still in the original the other one is going to be my custom unit so let's first things first Let's go with the weaponry. Let's go with the new rifle right here. Pretty nice in design. Really liking the detail for this. It's a two-part weaponry with the blade being its own separate thing. Got a little bit of a uh, uh, right here sticker. The one of the few stickers this kit actually comes with remaining for the weaponry um, and the GM particles for it, which isn't that much. It's not too bad. I have no clue if there's supposed to be a clear glass thing or not. That thing fell, but I forget. Then we have one of the many GN swords from the Quanta itself. And a much more darker color than what you were originally seeing in the regular Quanta. As if you ever bought the Quanta or own the Quanta either in the RG or HG, which I do own. Uh, you would know the blade would be blue with the... Well, no. The blade would be green with the hilt being blue. But I'm liking the tactical color designs. Probably one of my favorite designs here is the shield. Modified shield that I originally saw was going to be kind of it's a modification of the GN shoulder binder But combined into becoming a shield. It's got its own beam spray gun right there uh, It's got the two swords on the left that can uh, that can be moved apart uh, Let me go one second for this guy Okay, I'm back So let's go So the shield swords and come out like that pretty nice so it can have so it has a extra extra weaponry too so it's not just what's a cold uh just the shield binder itself it's also got two daggers it can use that can take off and use to fight the uh, shield itself it's actually more of an attachment which i actually kind of do like the connection a little bit better when it comes to this as more of the holder while it connects to the uh to the indent for the weaponry beam rifle Still a binder. It doesn't have the whole GN drive as you would assume. I mean, I'm assuming it still has the GN drive in there. But as far as like the way you were seeing the other GN uh, command quanta uh, uh, shield binders, it's not like that. It's all closed up. But overall, it's still pretty nice. And this side, this is like bending over. No, weird. Huh? Sorry, I was looking at this. I saw the thing was bending over. Unless this is how it's designed. I'm now weirded out, but I don't want to move anything right now and accidentally break this. And then last but not least, it has its missile pods, which comes from the command uh, from the command Gundam itself. Well, it's mo newly molded, but you can see the basically the same similarities if you own the SD command, or if you've seen the SD command. So going from that, let's go from design-wise from the Quanta, going from up and down. We've got the legs, beautiful legs right here, going towards its waist. Then we have the shoulders. It's beautiful head mount and design. 
very nice and detailed design. Shoulders as well. Its GN particles are yellow instead of the regular green as most of the time or any of the other uh, Gundam Builders series. Most of the other, um, well only one of them, which are transient blue and technically also purple. We're going to go with the uh, Frost Transient uh, Gundam. Uh, what's it called? It's got a, I'm assuming this is a GN drive or something like that. Similar to, towards this is where the sword goes right here. This bat pack is actually pretty nice. I'm really am digging it. Kind of reminds me of some of the um, Gundam Ground type or uh, backpacks. Uh, what's it called? So let's go with um, now with its possibility. So, like always, the head is able to turn. Whee! I may have to dislodge it a bit. <laughs> there we go. Uh, ooh. There we go. Head dislodged. Now let's go with the arms. Able to go that much. It's a little bit being blocked by the, what's it called? The shoulder armor. It, it is a little bit more extended compared to uh, the regular uh, quantum one. Now where shoulders are actually smaller. It's able to rotate the arm. Like always. It's able to bend. That much as it is. It's a little bit blocked. Anyways, because of the design of the arm wrist of the Quanta. It's actually been a while since I actually done possibility for the Quanta. It's able to spin its arm as it is on a the old good old ball and socket with the plastic. Uh it's got ab crunch right there, so it's pretty nice. It's not the wait, is this no, sorry. I'm I was thinking of the Dark Hound with its ability to fucking extend. This is not that. This does not extend. It's able to Spin around. Whee! There we go. Then for the legs, it's able to do splits, which rarely, if ever, we get a Gundam that can do splits. Don't fall down because it's kind of a little bit hard. It's able to go front, no problem at all. It's able to go back. That's actually pretty nice, as the Command Quanta. Unlike most of the other model kits, this buff flap isn't as big as most of them. It's able to go to its side. Pretty nice. What's oh, it cold? Now let's go with the bending of the knee. It's actually pretty good. Pretty nice. Oh, sorry about that. Let me go show the bending of the knee again. It's actually able to bend its knee. Pretty nice. Put the ankle. Ankle can move side to side. Sorry about that. There we go. I can move side to side. Back and forth. And it is on kind of that ball swivel joint. As the most of the Gundam, Gundam Double O kits are known for. Or at least most of the Force and Fifth Gen ones. Which are technically the more modern, modern update version of it. Its side skirts are on the old, on that old little ball socket thing. So they would move around side to side. No problem at all. Its front skirt is on one of those two, if you remember how the double O and Quantas are. So it's a little ball socket thing that can move around. So it's movable, so it can move around. But pretty old overall. It's actually pretty one of the more funner and more movable kits. And I really do enjoy this. Especially since I am big, I will say I am a big double O fan. It is probably one of the Gundam series I did start out with. So it is probably my fav favoritism a little bit coming in here. So... Not gonna lie, do not tell the Gunna Mistray of this, but Gun the Command Quanta is really up there, my favorites. Just don't tell Stray Type F. She'll get jealous. Overall, the Gun of Command Quanta is a really nice, great kit. It comes with really decent, uh, decent amount of parts, a lot of uh, accessories to use to play with, like the beam daggers, uh, beam HGN rifle right here. It's got it's. Uh, Jan sword, whatever, seven or eight. Forget how long we're at. Jan binder, Jan binder rifle. The mini GM blades that's attached towards it. Pretty nice. The daggers are actually pretty nice when it comes to tactical design. I might actually try to do a post picture with this in the in my L strike with its um, uh, Schneider blades. That should really look cool in the pose. I actually might do that later. I might post that as a later post later on, but I will require need to find the Schneider blades. Should be somewhere around. Should be somewhere in one of the box, many boxes I have of parts. 
But overall, the Command Quanta design wise is pretty nice. Um, a little, I will say, a little things left of the Command Quanta. Uh, it does have some extra overlay parts of the regular Quanta itself, like some waist parts, some chest parts, and all of that. So, uh, if you want to do some customization, or if you have a Quanta itself and, it, and you want to do some custom parts or need some extra overlay parts, it does have some parts to help you on the uh, to either rebuild one of your Quantas or what's called the compensation work with it. But design-wise, but pretty much it. Command Quanta really looks nice. It's a really great kit. You want to come pick this up, pick it up. Uh, oof, when did I get this kit? This kit I got at Target. So if you are lucky and find it or any of the other bad luck kits on Target, I would recommend picking them up. It's a really nice, beautiful kit. Really would, nice design-wise, pose-wise, and all that. Uh, what's it called? And that's pretty much it. Uh, I will be doing the review for the Gundam Grimmery sometime later in the week, or at least next day or two, because it's cold. I did say I was going to do both reviews, and then afterwards I'm going to be working on... Uh, oof. It's either I'm going to be working on the, uh, two other battle log kits. It's either going to be the Ashtray Reverse, or the rever what was it, the Revision? Inversion, there we go. Ashtray Red, Ashtray Red Frame Reversion, or the... Gundam ground type, urban combat type. It's going to be my next two builds I'm probably going to be doing. But, uh, with that out of the way, keep a lookout for the Gundam, Gundam Grimry review. On, that should be out either tomorrow or next day. But with that out of the way, this part on here, signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.